Hello everybody, uh, this is ADAC and uh, I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to use YouTube playlists. So if you're familiar with that, uh, probably you don't need to watch this, but if you're somewhat new to playlists or want to learn some of the more obscure uh, facts about it, you might want to watch the video. Um, what I'm going to say applies to almost any YouTube playlist you find. There are lots of people who've created wonderful collections of videos in different categories. Uh, for example, music, you can have all sorts of playlists different people have created, jazz, rock, whatever. And uh, so I've got my own uh, music playlist called 8X, 8X uh, Music Playlist, and I'm just going to use that today for purposes of illustration. Um, and what I've done here is uh, gone to the main page uh, that has my playlist in it, uh, and displays it in the most convenient way for me. Um, but uh, uh, we'll soon see how it looks in, in Safari when you're, or in my particular browser, which is Safari, when you start to actually use it. Um, this playlist is actually in my uh, music collection, 8x music collection, which you find on my profile page, and you can, uh, in the pinned post, you'll find the link that brings you right here. That's where this URL is from. Uh, and now, <clears throat> if you click on a song, it can be any song here, let's just click on the first one. And what that does, uh, I've, I've already simulated bringing the page up because I didn't want to watch an ad. Uh, but basically, this is what you get. You click on the play button, and you got your music. Um, and I'm going to uh, explain what some of these icons and some of these areas in the screen mean. Uh, for beginners. So let's go to my next screen, which is just this screen with annotation on it. So uh, most of you are familiar with video controls. You've got a play and pause button, and you've got a uh, previous button to go to the beginning of the video, or if you do it a second time, to go to the video before this one in the playlist. Um, in our case, with the music, we don't have a video before this one. It's the first one. The next one will take you to the uh, next video uh, after this, the one you're watching. And uh, the video bug here is useful if, for example, I often tell people that in a song I'm posting in my music collection, there's a lot of intro and talk, and if they want to go right to the music, they need to go to 1 minute and 25 seconds, say, and then you can grab this video bug and drag it to uh, 125, and then hit the play button. Um, and uh, so that takes care of this player control stuff. Most of you are familiar with that. Um, up here, you have some controls over how the playlist will play for you. For example, you can either play it in order, which is the default. Uh, so if we click on this one right here, this is the song we've got going. I think we would have gotten it from the previous uh, click when we were on, the, on this page here. When I clicked it, you get this page and, and the music starts playing. I have auto play turned on, uh, so I didn't have to pre plus press the play button. Uh, and it would automatically go to the next uh, song in the list and so on if you just let it play. Uh, which is great if you haven't been, uh, if you're following music collection, you haven't followed the last five or six posts, you want to hear what I posted recently, it'll just play the most recent stuff first. Uh, if you're familiar with it and want to hear it in mixed up order, that's what this icon here is for. It's a shuffle pick playlist. And this is to make it loop around again, although I've got 450 uh, songs plus in here. So it's unlikely you would listen to all of it in one, one go. So, but you can click on that for shorter playlists, and when it gets to the end of the last video, it'll recycle and go to the beginning end. And so you've got randomize or shuffle, and you've got loop. Okay, let's see, okay, uh, the current song is indicated by this triangle and it'll move down as uh, YouTube proceeds through the videos and you have to tolerate commercials when they come up and click on the skip ad and all that, uh, so I won't say more about that. Let's say a little bit about what's down below here. Uh, you've got the post description which gives you more detailed information about the video and uh, you need to click to show more often often, more often than not, to get the details, uh, specific information on the album the song came from, or just some historical background. This guy was very brief. And this is the poster, and if you like this fellow and you like the song, you might want to subscribe to his playlist. Uh, so it's nice to know who it is that posted it. 
Finally, let's assume that you know how to use YouTube and you've created your own playlist. You might like some of my songs, but not others. And so what you'd like to be able to do is you go through and if there's a song you like, when it's playing, you can just click on Add to Playlist and it'll bring up a, a dialog box to show all of your playlist if you're logged into YouTube in your account. And you can add it to your, your music playlist, or you can call it uh, you know, Favorites from ADAX Collection or something like that. Something that tells you what, where it came from and, and what it's for. And that way you can customize this playlist so you don't have to, if you're not a doo-wop fan like I am, you don't have to listen to doo-wop music. Or if you're not a jazz fan, uh, you can exclude those. So it lets you highly customize stuff. And uh, that's uh, a pretty useful thing. A little bit about the information on the, on the side and it will be done. Uh, if you uh, move the, cur if you put the cursor in here and scroll, let's go back to the previous screen and do that, you'll see that you can go and look at the songs ahead of time while one's playing. And if you see one you want to hear, you just click on that and it goes right to that one. And you can play from there. Uh, it's a great song by Eva Cassidy. So uh, this part of the, and sometimes this show is shown down below. It just depends on how you have your browser configured and how large your window is and so on. Uh, mine is putting it out to the side. Down here what you have are the recommended uh, YouTube videos to watch by YouTube if you like this particular song. So as, as we advance through my playlist, you'll get different things showing down here uh, that will be YouTube's predictions of other songs by the same artists or similar artists that you might like. And YouTube is pretty good with keeping track of that and predicting it. So you've got two things to look at. You've got the scroll list that I provide that you can go through for my uh, my uh, music playlist, and you've got this thing down below, which you can also, I believe, scroll through. Let's go back and check it. No, it just, you scroll, it doesn't really scroll in the usual sense of scrolling within a window, uh, like my playlist does, but it does let you scroll down screen, and you can see all the recommendations it's making. It's got quite a few for you, Cassie. Um, okay, I think that's it. Uh, if you forget, uh, some of this information. I'm going to be posting this video and how to in my music collection uh, and so you'll always be able to find it there and I will have most of this information in the uh, pinned post of the music collection uh, along with any relevant links. So that's, that's what you need to check out. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to having you in my music room in the future. Take care. Bye-bye. This is ADAC. We're going out.